Hey everybody, Florida Stacker here, and in today's video, we're going to go over lower premium gold and silver bars. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. I'm the Florida Stacker, and I like to take my paycheck money, my earnings, all the fruits of my labor, so to speak, and turn quite a bit of that into real, tangible money, that is real money, silver and gold, as well as a little bit of platinum. And the reason that I'm doing that is because, well, first of all, saving in gold and silver has been a stellar option, especially of late. And secondly, it's probably the most enjoyable way to save money. You really look forward to purchasing your next coin or bar. You get the excitement of buying something, but what you're doing is converting fiat dollars, that is, you know, basically IOUs generated by the government, for real, tangible money, God's money, the money that's been on this planet longer than anything and will continue to stay around long after we're gone. All right, so I've been looking for some cheaper options because of the recent run-up in spot price on both gold and silver, as well as the fact that I'm still trying to accumulate during these times of both high spot and high premium. So in order to continue stacking, as I've said in a lot of my previous videos, I, I, I continually have to adjust and I have to really look for the value where I can find it so I can maximize the um, purchasing power of the money that I'm able to save, right? I can only save so much money and I'm only able to make so much money, especially because I'm in a salaried position. So depending on what I can generate from any side hustle, that really does make the difference, but it really is cutting into the amount of money that I'm able to make with the new uh, premiums and higher spot price. So to cut down on that, I really can't uh, currently justify purchasing a 10 ounce bar like the Britannia or the Royal Canadian Mint Bar, not when they want $230 uh, approximately, in some cases higher than that, uh, for the bar. And that's at best here pricing, right? So we're talking $23 per ounce when silver is, you know, $19.30, $19.40. Uh, so I wanted to find a bit of a cheaper option. And the same goes for fractional gold. I've shown you these two. I got these two one tenth ounce gold eagles that I've unboxed uh, this quarter. So we've already got two tenths of an ounce uh, put towards my half ounce goal for third quarter. Well, we like to set those goals, but we always try to go over them, right? All right, so you know the premiums on these one tenth ounce gold coins are through the roof. They're insane. It's just not something that I can justify paying right now, especially because um, they haven't really been minting the 2020 tenth ounce coins. I actually got that information from a great stacking channel. You guys really need to get out and check out Silver Heist. I'm going to go ahead and put his channel information up above. He's got a great video out right now about the numbers. That is, how many coins in the different fractional and one ounce sizes of the Gold American Eagles that the U.S. Mint has been producing of late, as well as a little bit of historical context to go along with that. So, Give his channel a check out if you're not already subscribed and check out that video if you want to know what's going on in the gold market and why you're seeing these obscene, uh, absurd, obscene, whatever uh, word you want to use to describe the premiums attached to the 10th ounce gold eagle. So to get around that, we'll start out with the gold here. I purchased this and this is a 1 10th ounce gold bar from the secondary market uh, from Atmex and I bought this through my one gold account. And while the one tenth ounce gold eagles, that is these small coins right over here, are going for the 250 to 270 range, I paid $203 for this. And this is a beautiful one tenth ounce gold bar. So I will pull it out of the package here in just a moment, but I am going to put a glove on for that. Uh, but I'll flip it around for you. This is a one tenth ounce bar that was broken off of a Valcambi or Valcambi. I'm not really quite sure how to pronounce it. It's a Swiss refiner. It's a one tenth ounce bar that was broken off from one of their one ounce combi bars. Valcambi, uh, Valcambi sells a one ounce bar that can be broken into 10 pieces. Uh, this is one of those one tenth ounce pieces. And I kind of show you here, you can see it's a part of 
that etching that you see there is a part of uh, the overall Valcambi logo when it's in its one ounce form. So let's go ahead and get a glove on and I'll get this gold bar out. Okay, I have very carefully removed the gold bar from the packaging. And uh, I don't want, it's very polished, it's proof like, right? So I don't want to touch it with my bare hands. So it's a one tenth ounce fine gold, four nines fine, from the Valcambi Mint, a Swiss refiner. And we'll go ahead and um, turn it around here real quick, show you the proof backside. It's not in perfect condition, it's secondary market. Somebody had broken this off and then Atmex had purchased it back. Either that or they had some of these combi bars and they decided to break them up themselves and sell them in their one tenth ounce size. So $203 for this. Let's go ahead and grab the Eagle and place it next. So this will give you a size reference. It's a very thin bar, it's very thin. Uh, the coin itself, the 10th ounce Eagle, is pretty thin. It's about the size of a dime. You can see the bar is quite a bit longer. It does appear larger than the coin, but in reality they are the same. Well, the gold content that is. It's the same weight, so. Let's see if we can get a little bit better lighting. So there you go, a 10th ounce fractional gold bar from Valcambi. It's 3.11 grams, so this bar is going to fall in between their 2.5 gram bars and their 5 gram bar. Uh, the 2.5 gram bars are going for about $170 at the best pricing I'm seeing, and the 5 gram bar is around $318 uh, right now. And this bar was $203. All right, let's put it back in the packaging, and I'll be right back. All right, guys and girls, so I decided that I'm going to store this bar back in its original uh, coin flip here that Atmex sent me, and there's two reasons behind that. One, I, I, don't, have a, I don't have a good place to put it uh, outside of any protection. I don't have any kind of capsule for it or any other way to really protect it. And two, because it is a secondary market gold bar, having it in the original packaging that Atmex sent to me does give it that additional security. If I were to want to exchange or sell this uh, on the secondary market myself uh, through Instagram or Facebook at some other point, just having it in the original packaging from Atmex does give this gold bar, which is not in an assay, uh, just that much more security. So I'm going to go ahead and tape down below when this video is over. I'll tape it up, get it nice and secure, and we'll get it tucked away. All right, so that is the Valcambi 110th ounce gold bar. $203, same weight in gold, and a lot cheaper than buying a one-tenth ounce fractional gold American Eagle. All right, so not only did I pick up a, a fractional gold bar in my latest purchase through One Gold and Atmex, but I was also looking for a more cost-efficient way to add some more weight and silver to the stack. Uh, as you guys and girls know who've been following me for a while now, I've been uh, stacking a lot of different coins. I like to fill tubes. I'll start out with an empty tube and try to get 20 coins of the same type into that tube and close that tube out. And that goes into the safe um, and hopefully doesn't get opened up again, right? You know, I'm trying to get these things tucked away for the long term. So uh, I picked up the nice gold bar, but to cut my costs on picking up five ounces of silver, I went ahead this time instead of ordering coins and I got one of these beautiful nine fine mint, five troy ounce, three nines fine silver bars. You've seen these before, I'm sure. They've been out for a while now, but they come at a better value than the other five ounce bars that were out there. And if you are a bar buyer, especially silver bars, you know that there's very little inventory out there right now. Silver bars are just not around. And when they do hit the online dealers, they're gone pretty quick. And they're coming at a pretty high premium too, like the Royal Canadian Mint and Britannia bars. So if you're looking for a lower premium option, these cast bars may be a better option for you to stack weight during this time of high spot and high premium uh, because you're going to be able to get more weight for the dollar. So let's go ahead and get it out of the box here. 
All right, we removed it from the box, and it is a nice, chunky little silver bar. Nine fine mint, five troy ounces, three nines fine silver. Chunky. I'm looking forward to getting more of these. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to go ahead and put it out there right now that due to the current environment that we're in, if this environment remains uh, for the long term, at least for the remainder of 2020, which it looks like it's going to. And what I mean by that is the high spot, the silver price in the $19 range and climbing, as well as the high premiums that are currently accompanying the demand for physical gold and silver. So in this environment, I've got to find ways to continue to add weight to my stack, to continue to convert my fiat dollars into gold and silver uh, and make that go further, right? So I can get more weight for the same dollar instead of putting more of my money just into premium. So I got this for $109, whereas if I was stacking five ounces of silver American Eagles, I'd be in the $130 to $140 uh, range for that same weight in silver. So this is a beautiful little five ounce bar and it's small. Let's go ahead and uh, grab the Britannia bar here real quick. Now this is 10 ounces, do keep that in mind. But look at the size difference. That's pretty apparent. This is a much uh, smaller bar. It's half the size, of course, but I believe the 10 ounce version of this nine fine mint, uh, three nines fine silver bar would also be quite a bit smaller than this stamped uh, Royal Mint Britannia bar. Beautiful bar, but coming at $230 where you can pick up a 10 ounce version of this for, you know, 210, 215. So you're going to get the same silver for less money. So I wanted to show you a little bit of variety that you could add to your stack during this time. It's something that I'm doing. I'm kind of changing it up a little bit. I'm hoping that we're going to see a little bit of a pullback here in the silver premiums, but it's just not looking like it's going to happen. It's actually looking like we're going to see higher spot as the year progresses, as well as uh, these continued uh, higher premiums until we can get through this election and uh, hopefully things can start to stabilize again uh, when we get on the other side of it. So anyways, I've got this nice gold bar here for you and this nice silver bar. Two alternative ways to add weight to your stack at a lower premium during these times. I hope you enjoyed this video. I uh, really enjoyed making it. So um, all right, guys, we'll see you during the next one. Stay tuned for more videos coming up here shortly. I'm going to be showing you a little bit more 90% as well as more gold. Stay tuned for that. We'll see you soon.